Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be creating material from Max and Noise. I've recently created my own pack and it's a pack of 10 and you can download it below. It's a Gumroad um, Zero Plus. What you can do with the pack is, is to check how I did it, but I want to show you in this tutorial a step-by-step -step, uh, approach how you can build one of these. So let's go into Cinema 4D and I'm going to create it with you step-by-step. -step. Yep. So here we are in Cinema 4D. I currently am in my Redshift material layout, go back to the regular view and delete this old material I was just creating uh, called Moon Eyes from my material collection you can download on the camera for free. Here's for plaques and you can see my poorly modeled shader ball. You can model yours or you can just uh, put a cube to the scene. Create Redshift material. So you go to Redshift material, materials, material or I have it just dragged here so I'm just gonna create new redshift material and drag that material on top of my shader ball so you drag it on top of any model or any any kind of object and we are going to need our redshift render view and also if I click on that material tag if I double click that click on edit shader graph so you have a edit shader graph you have a redshift render view so I have created layout like that uh, for myself so I can just quickly so I could turn on the IPR just click the play button on the redshift render view and we're gonna get real-time reference of what we doing so right now we have one node redshift, redshift node material and I can delete it and it's gonna scream red so I can just plug it back you know you see all your nodes here and the ones we're gonna be using today it's gonna be a material node material blender we're gonna use max and noise we're gonna use ramp right so we're gonna use materials and we're gonna create three materials I'm just gonna plug that material into our output node just so we don't scream red here so now we can see this is uh, this is our preset for that material and here we have all the settings we have for this particular node when I click on this one we have settings for all this one let's start with the redshift material we're not gonna go crazy designing our own we're just gonna use preset and slightly tune it so let's say we're gonna use that plastic we're gonna make it slightly darker we definitely want roughness up now it's kind of a matte dark plastic so I kind of like that and this could be our material one now hold control and drag this material over to some other place and now we have the second material that looks exactly the same we can just change it by simply changing it to copper preset we just drag it into our surface and you see it's perfect copper right so we have two materials we have one that is plastic math and there is a copper those two are going to be fine for now but the way we blend them together we're going to use material blender uh, the way to do it is to plug the the first material as a base material base color and that we're going to plug into our surface and we can see it here and the second material we're going to plug into material blender as a layer color one so we have a base color and layer color one and now we need to tell to material blender how to blend that layer color one onto that base color so we we gonna use max and noise for that so that's why um, this tutorial is for max and noise because it's a it's a key component for this uh, layering so we're gonna plug in max and noise as a blend color one we can see immediately that it blend each color I can increase the contrast um, we're gonna see blend of our two materials you know sky is the limit we can plug in the ramp so we can reduce that contrast back to somewhere in the middle we're just gonna go straight to zero and we're gonna control that contrast with the ramp so I'll plug it uh, as a blend color one and now we can see that if I change this right make it more sharp let's gradient -y. so the sharper it is oh, it's perfect right 
I can also hold control, drag that black color there and create just something like that. Make it sharp, sharp, sharp. Right. And I will give us something like that. So that's one thing. Um, the other thing we could do is use the same noise to control other stuff like uh, like a displacement so we could have a displacement on our object just by using utilities displacement displacement let's drag another ram same input output into the texture texture map and then into the output displacement right so now we have displacement it's going to control the frequency so it's not too much okie dokie so as you can see this little indentation in that and it's just creating a it's a nice nice kind of texture to that ball uh, so the other way the the other way we can uh, the other way we can use that noise is as well uh, to add another material on top and and really fine-tune the material so I can plug into the material layer 2 and then use that max and noise through ramp again ramp input and plug it as a layer blend color 2 and now we blending our third material as a so I have one two three and we have blend color one blend color 2 and the displacement part separate so we have these uh, we have these we're gonna look into this material uh, make it something nice like a uh, tinted glass I really like that one we're gonna use this to control it nice one nice so this will give us <laughs> i didn't even expect this going to happen but this is really cool actually so it's a combination of those uh it's the dark plastic and a tinted glass and in between we have this copper copper and this is really interesting shader and because it's all procedural it's all driven by only one noise we can change it anytime we're from noise to booyah right and I can just go cell noise. I can go here, there. So it's very easy way to, to create uh, interesting materials and have absolute control on what they do. And you can see the textures as well. Make sure you have a material pack on, on your object. So if you, if you go Onto your object, you have material tag and you have geometry uh, override on, and you can do the displacement and you can also do the tessellation on. Okay, so just gonna look look at it back. Just gonna turn on the IPR. That is really cool material to look at. So I hope you like it, and it's very simple. So I'm not gonna go over more stuff, but. Definitely basic idea is to, you know, plug in some material as a base color and then layer color one, layer color two, how many as you want. And I mean, I th it's a, it's six max, but then you can plug in another material blender. So you're going to plug these and then with one max of noise or more, it's up to you. You can blend, you can blend different noises together and, and you can really have your way. But I, I find it interesting to have just one max of noise and control them control it with ramps 
and this way um, whenever I change anything it will change with it so I'll change it to Hama and everything will change uh, accordingly right so even the bumps and everything will be recalculated um, so you obviously need to be careful as well uh, because you can get into crazy crazy shaders with this uh, that was really interesting and I hope you enjoyed uh, and see you in the next one and if you want to download my collection of materials and I'm gonna include I'm gonna include this uh, ugly shader ball as well so see you in the next one